Hi, and welcome to Breezy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom header and footer for your WordPress website with Breezy. And also, I'm going to show you something even better, how to display them across all your paging using our global block conditions in just two seconds. It's pretty cool stuff. Stay tuned. But before we jump into the back end to build the header and footer from scratch, uh, let me show you the front end. I've set up a, a couple of pages here for our website. Uh, it's called Fix It. It's, uh, it's a layout pack that will come in, uh, in Breezy Pro in a future update. As you can see, it doesn't have a header or footer. So uh, we have the services, uh, the about page, pricing and the contact us page and uh, what we'll do today is create a header and a footer from scratch and we'll end up with uh, something like this uh, for the header and let me show you the footer here at the bottom something like this for the footer and uh, after we create uh, the header and the footer I'll show you how to put uh, them on all the pages in just two seconds with our unique block conditions feature. Let's get started. Here is my WordPress admin. I'll show you the pages. It doesn't really matter where you'll create the header and the footer because we'll use, use the block conditions to, to push them uh, on all our pages. Let's choose uh, services, for example. Excellent. Here we'll want to add uh, a blank block for our header. I'll reorder it to put it on uh, to put it on top. Here we'll have two. Two, I think three columns we'll have three columns one is the first one from the left is for the logo then we'll have a menu element in the middle and on the right side we'll have uh, two buttons Here's our logo. You need to play with um, uh, with the heights and widths here to, to make it uh, just uh, just how you want it. Let's align it to the left. For the menu, we'll we'll leave this a bit. Uh, will create it in just a moment uh, in WordPress. I want to show you that. And for these buttons, let's uh, ha have uh, two call to actions. Uh, for example, call us now. Let's play with the sizes a bit here. I think I'll go with a uh, with rounded corner one and maybe let's change the icon to a phone. I'll add the shadow for the bottom and play a bit with the opacity. Of course, you can you can create here anything you you want or need with any elements. Uh, let's duplicate this. 
and make a second button we'll put this uh, let's say you have a, a, cha a live chat let's let's chat let's make a, a blue button now to give some nice contrast here and I think um, comment or a chat icon chat let's see a chat icon would would be better suited here excellent of course the paddings on the block are way too too big so we'll need to we'll need to play with those a bit and now let's uh, let's save it we'll hit update here at the, at the bottom and now let's create our uh, our menu we'll give it a name main menu create a menu and we'll add all our pages about contact prices and services We'll leave the home page alone for now because we'll add the URL on the logo. So we'll, we'll add the rest. Let's make the labels. I'll play with the order a bit. Save it. And now when we go to the services, we'll see that our new uh, menu is already here. I'll play a bit with the, with the styling here. Name it colors. And I think I, I'd want some more spacing between the items in the menu. So we'll, we'll play with this option here. Let's match the background color to fit the, the next block. And our header is done. Let's move to the footer. We'll start with a block from scratch and here we'll need an image for the logo. I resize this to be smaller and then what? We'll have another menu. Let's go with uh, some uh, social icons, so we'll need um, an icon element. And underneath we'll go with, um, uh, with a text element for the copyright. Excellent. Let's start uh, bringing in uh, from our media the logo. I prefer usually to use the resize points uh, rather than the um, uh, than the sizes here because it, it gives me an easier way to, to figure out what size uh, do I want for, for the logo. For the menu, we'll play a bit with, um, with the global styles here and with the spacings. Excellent. For our social icons, we'll go with uh, Facebook.
Twitter. And let's say uh, Instagram. Our social icons are too large for my taste, so uh, we'll, uh, we can modify the sizes from here. Or again, if we click the icon, uh, the resize points will appear and we can just do it by, uh, by resizing uh, the icons. And to put the same size on these icons, you can use the shortcuts. I, uh, you can find all the shortcuts here. What we'll need to do is to copy uh, the icon and then paste uh, the style. So uh, if you are using a Mac, uh, we'll use uh, Command C and Command Shift V. So Command C, Command Shift V. And this will paste the new style. I think we need a bit more space in here. And for the text here, we'll go with this. Great. I think we'll need some spacings here. So I'll add a, a spacer element to, to, to let the footer breathe a bit. and. Let's update it. Let's preview it on the front page. And we should see on the services page the header and the footer we've just created. Of course, the other pages don't have uh, the header and the footer yet, but we'll uh, fix that right away. What we want to do is go back into the builder and uh, we we'll want to use the global display positions. We'll go to any block, in our case here on the header, and we'll make it a global block. Once we do this, we'll notice that uh, the global icon appeared here and we can access the display conditions. In this pop-up, we can set any display conditions where basically where do we want this block to be displayed and we will include it in pages and we'll select all and this means that this header this block will be included on all the pages on our website uh, be it a simple page uh, a blog post page a template a dynamic page any page you will create with breezy uh, will have this header on hit a save and let's do that for the footer as well we go on the block, make it global. And by the way, just a tip, you can access the display conditions from here as well, from this icon. All, save. If you want to, uh, to add multiple conditions, you can do that from here. So, for example, if you would want to uh, exclude the, uh, the footer from, from a certain page, we'll, we'll add another condition, hit this button and switch it to exclude. And exclude it from, let's say, we want uh, the contact page to have another footer. So, we'll select pages and contact. And if we hit save, uh, the footer will be excluded from the contact uh, page. But I'll delete this for now. Update, let's preview it on the front page. Here we go. We have the header and the footer on all our pages on the website. This is a great way to, to push your headers and footers especially, but what's cool about uh, our block conditions feature is that it works with any block on the page. So it works great with testimonial blocks, it works great with headers and footers or any blog that you want to repeat on multiple pages. Thanks a lot for joining me today. I'll see you in the next one.